Hey everyone. So a lot of people have asked me recently whether they should still invest time in learning a language like C++ or not. Does it still matter? So welcome back to the channel. So let's get started. The field of AI is exploding, isn't it? Right. Like we have seen that new models are being launched each day. We are seeing massive data sets being crunched, incredibly complex neural networks, LLMs being trained, and there's a surge in real time applications like autonomous vehicles, advanced robotics. All of this comes with a real cost, which is computational power and efficient resource utilization. From a end user perspective, this might not be super important, but from an engineering perspective, something like a computational power is really where some of the times bottleneck comes in in innovation because hey you don't have enough computational power or you don't even if you have the computational power you need to do efficient resource utilization right so here is where c++ steps into the spotlight so unlike some high language like high high level languages c++ gives developers incredibly fine grained control over memory management and it allows for highly optimized code that minimizes overhead and maximizes efficiency it also allows for direct interaction with the underlying hardware right the low level controls that, that c++ gives to be able to interact with the hardware like those powerful gpus tpus that are essential for accelerated AI workloads. Simply put, C++ is engineered for performance critical tasks where every millisecond and every byte of memory counts, right? And you might not see C++ plastered all over the surface of AI development, but it's essentially the powerful engine driving many of the cutting edge technologies, right? It is essentially the foundation of very, very important AI frameworks and libraries that researchers and practitioners rely on, uh, right? And like furthermore in robotics, embedded AI systems where real time responsiveness and limited resources are paramount, C++ is often the language of choice. And when it comes to pushing the boundaries of AI through high performance computing, C++ essentially plays a very critical role in enabling those complex simulations and model training runs. And obviously Python languages are Python are really important, uh, which through which you could apply your AI skills. I mean, uh, it is like very easy to, you know, train a model with just some few lines in Python, but these are fantastic for rapid prototyping and accessibility, but learning C++ offers a significant advantage, a deeper understanding of the core infra that underpins many AI systems. This knowledge can empower you not only to use like existing tools, but also to optimize and even customize them for specific needs. Plus the fundamental programming concepts you learn in C++ provide a strong and very transferable foundations that can benefit you even when working with other language in the AI ecosystem. So looking ahead, the trend is clear. Models will become even larger, applications will demand even faster processing and integration with specialized AI hardware will become incredibly crucial. In the future, the need for high performance computing will only intensify. It's not going down anytime soon. It's only going up and C++ is exceptionally well suited to meet these challenges. It is essentially very vital skill for anyone looking to not just practice or participate in the AI revolution, but also to actively shape its future and push the very boundary of what's possible. So there you have it. Why C++ continues to be a powerful and essential language in the age of AI. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do, 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 you, have, do you have experience using AI, AI uh, that involves some sort of C++ libraries, right? Like some of these libraries, right, that you use, TensorFlow, for example, would be heavily built on top of C++. So let me know in the comments if you found this video insightful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to, you know, connect me, connect with me on any other social media platforms. Thanks for watching.